What up everybody, this is Carlos, the Texas Squeegee, and I'm back. All right, in this video, we're taking this car right behind me. This one was brought in with cheap tint. We are replacing it and putting a ceramic tint on there because cheap tint ain't good, good tint ain't cheap, and ceramic tint is the best. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys the differences between cheaping out and going with the good stuff from the get-go. So stay tuned to get tintified. Squeegee that. All right, so this tint right here is, as you can see, it's super bubbly, like really bubbly. It's like really bad. Now, the reason why this does is this is called cheap tint because as I said earlier, cheap tint ain't good. Good tint is not cheap. This is cheap tint right here. Now, this happens because the glue in the tint actually burns up from the sun. What happens over time is the sun burns up the tint, the glue on it, so when that glue is no longer there, it's not holding the film to the glass and you start to have these little bubble spots coming around. This is not normal with good tint. So don't expect this if you get actually good tint on your car. What we're doing with this one, we're gonna be taking this one off and replacing it with a ceramic. The ceramic that we carry comes with about a 10 year, uh, 10 year lifespan. So as long as you take care of it, it's not gonna do this. So taking this one off because cheap tint ain't good. And it's better to just go with the good stuff from the beginning because if you go with the cheap stuff, you're gonna end up replacing it more times. And in a five year, five year span, it's actually more expensive to go with the cheap stuff. So. So we're doing a heat test before heat test when it's got the cheap tint on there to test the heat protection that you get from something like this. And we're gonna compare it to when you do the ceramic. So this right here is the lamp that puts out the heat. This right here measures the amount of heat that goes through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this outside that gasket when you turn it on. I'm gonna place it in that gasket so that it's not moving around. We're gonna come back with the meter. And so the sun would do about 275. Right here, this tint is not very good it's letting a ton of heat through we're going to come back and see the difference between the two and show you guys back home what to expect All right, so now that we're here back after I just tinted this one with ceramic tint, we're gonna do the heat test. This is the infrared heat lamp. This is a meter that measures it. So I'm gonna put it back out here, putting it on that gasket so that we got a stable reading. This is a meter right here as well. I'm gonna put it on there. And you see there's a drastic difference before and after with the ceramic tint. So goes to show the difference between a heat protection with a cheap tint and a ceramic tint. Squeegee that. I like to warm up the general window so whenever I do get started peeling off my corner, I'm gonna start off with the blade and then I'm gonna start up next with my push stick to really get it going. Same spot, heating up. You see how the blade is kind of going? I'm not touching the glass, so I'm not scratching it. Switching over to my push stick. Boom. Boom, pull that lid back and then I'll come back and just warm it up. I tinted this one with a nano ceramic, which is the advanced version of a regular ceramic tint. So this was supposed to be a lot more protection, offer a lot more protection with heat. So let's test that out and see how it compares. So again, we got that heat lamp. I'm gonna put it on there on the glass, and then we're gonna turn on that meter. And that's how the film compares to the ceramic and the cheap one right there. So the reason why the nano ceramic blocks out more heat is because it actually has more infrared blockers embedded into the film. The entry level ceramic, or some people call it the first generation ceramic, that was like the first thing that came out when they came out with the ceramic product. And obviously as technology advances, the film advanced as well. So now we got the nano ceramic, which blocks out a lot more heat. And we are gonna continue doing the rest of the car, doing a full ceramic package, which includes sides, rears, sunroofs, if they have any, and the full front windshield with a clear ceramic film. Now you have double protection. Plastic for the buttons for any excess water.
All right, so now the front windshield is next on this Tesla Model 3. Now, before we do that, the biggest risk with tinting windshields on any sort of vehicle is the amount of water that is used can potentially mess up the electronics that are sitting right underneath that windshield. Now, the secret weapon that we have is actually one of these. These are dash covers for your dash. Now, what this does is it actually protects the dash from getting water soaking through it. Now, the unique thing about this one is that these have these little ropes built into them here. So what this does is it gets wedged to the bottom of the windshield all along here so that as you're pushing water down, this is catching it and this is preventing it from having to go even lower and getting into the electronics where it will actually mess them up. So this is one of the ways that we do them here at the shop. This one in particular was gifted to us by Tintwiz. So the Tintwiz app is a CRM system for business shops, for window tinting shops. It's actually the most efficient way to run a tint shop because it stores everything electronically. Customers are able to get their quotes and proposals in a link form. So you don't have to hold on to any paper. You can always pull it up and boom, it's ready. It's there, to, ready to go down to every detail. It makes it super convenient for anybody to book your window tinting appointment to the shop's schedule. So a good telltale sign if you want to find a good shop in your area is if they're using the Tintwiz app, most likely, more likely than not, they are up to date, more informed with the new developing technology in the window tinting world. So Tintwiz app, if they have it, good sign. Squeegee that. You gonna order your deal? No, what's up? What's up? What do you want? What do you want to know? Top 20%. All right, so now that we've got the full windshield done right here, we're gonna do the after heat test. Now this one's I'm gonna do it a little bit different since we don't have uh, the same kind of setup as we do on the sides. So this right here won't read past 600. That's when it maxed out. And so we're gonna try to keep a distance right there. See, right there is maxed out. Get it closer. So that's the distance already maxed out right there. I'm gonna try to get that same distance right up here in the full front windshield. You can see right there reading double digits so a big big drop compared to like up here like 500 or so and we bring it back in here right about low double digits so this is a full front windshield with a clear ceramic clear nano ceramic film so good to go all right so now you know the difference between a nano ceramic tint versus a cheap tint and what you can get back home. So as far as pricing goes, Nano Ceramic, there's a lot of things that factor into it because it has a lot more uses. So you can get a lot more different packaging than you could with the regular tent, the cheap one. So if you like what you saw, you wanna get something like this done, make sure you visit our website at texastintmasters.com to get tintified. To keep watching some more of the top tint videos on YouTube, subscribe to the channel down below, leave your comments in the comments section. This has been Carlos, the Texas Squeegee, signing out, and I'll see you on the next one. Squeegee down.